Today's April 22nd. Today's quote is entitled, Don't Wait for Another Life. We cannot do anything like what Dhruva Maharaj did for self-realization because we are absolutely incompetent to execute such service. But by Lord Chaitanya's mercy, we have been given all concessions possible for this age. So at least we should always remember that neglect of our prescribed duties and devotional service will not make us successful in the mission we have undertaken. It is our duty to follow in the footsteps of Dhruva Maharaj, for he was very determined. We should also be determined to finish our duties in executing devotional service in this life. We should not wait for another life to finish our job. Srimad Bhagavatam 4873 Prabhupada came here to pick us up and get us out of this material world. He told us that. We saw him doing that. He begged us, finish our business. He's begging us here. Follow Dhruva's example. Be determined. Don't allow Maya to deviate you. Be determined, just like Dhruva Maharaj was. Now, Dhruva Maharaj is such a good example. He set his mind on his goal. I want to see Krishna and I want to ask Krishna to become more powerful than anyone in the universe. And nothing could deviate him. Even Narada tried to deviate him. And he said, you know, thank you for the instruction, but I can't listen to the instruction because I'm so fixed on my goal. And actually Narada was testing him. Narada told him to go back home. And, and Dhruva is glorified for his determination. And that's his outstanding quality. And that stands out in this story. And therefore Prabhupada saying, like Dhruva, we should be determined. And, and then Prabhupada saying, why? He said, and then Prabhupada saying, look, it's Kali Yuga, all concessions have been made. We don't realize how many concessions have been made because we think, oh, this is so hard, I have to chant 16 rounds, that takes two hours a day. And Prabhupada saying, two hours a day is nothing, you have 24. But we're thinking, wow, well, I'm so busy with so many things, two hours is a lot. Whereas in previous ages, you were dedicating your entire day to self-realization. You were meditating your entire day. And here we're only doing two hours. So Prabhupada's putting it in context and saying, look, it's not difficult. So many concessions have been made. Plus, what you're getting is so much greater than what the yogis got who meditated 24-7 for thousands of years or 100,000 years. And you're getting much more in one lifetime and you're not determined, and you're being distracted, and you're not serious, that doesn't make any sense. So Prabhupada's trying to put things in context, because our context is, oh, this is difficult, it's austere, I have so many desires, I'm so conditioned, I have to make so many sacrifices, etc. And Prabhupada's saying, no, it's not like that. This is easy, concessions have been made, you're getting such an amazing package for such a low price. You should understand that. You should realize that. You should take advantage of that and don't allow anything to deter you. That's Prabhupada's message. So many times Prabhupada was giving us that message because we're dull. We're dull. We don't realize how fortunate we are. We don't realize the advantage we have being in the Krishna consciousness movement. And so therefore sometimes we become slack. We become distracted. We're not so inspired, enthusiastic, and Prabhupada saying, wait a minute, do you realize what you have? And do you realize how easy this is? Do you realize how many concessions have been made for you? Get with the program. Focus on this. Do this. Don't focus on anything else. This is a once in a million lifetime opportunity. Once in a million. Yes, at least a million. Maybe once in like seven million. No? Maybe once, once like in 700 million or 7 billion, yeah. No, more like once in 100,000 quadrillion gazillion billion lives. Yeah, it's that rare. 
And we don't understand that. And that's Prabhupada is, is in a sense kind of pleading with us. He said, try to understand this. You know, look what you have. Don't, don't lose this. This is too valuable. Go for it. Just fix your mind on this instead of everything else. Hare Krishna. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with others, if you comment it, on it, if you like it, do whatever. You have to click to share it because I think a lot of devotees would appreciate getting these videos. I try to take our philosophy and put it in a practical way so we know how to apply it in daily activity. And um, this is one of the services I do and I want to reach as many devotees as possible. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you. Oh